Hey guys, it's Kobe with Rural Bible Reviews coming at you again this week with another Bible review. This week I'm reviewing the Legacy Standard Bible hardback edition um, of the two column verse by verse. Um, I just want to say uh, before we get started on this, thank you to everyone that has uh, shared my channel. Uh, as of this recording, I'm at 283 subscribers. And don't forget, once I get to 300, um, if you watched last week's video, uh, I'm giving away the large print wide margin um, in the hardback edition. Um, so go back and watch that video, learn how you can be entered to win it. Uh, but like I said, once I hit 300, I'm going to give it away. So, but um, we're here to talk about this one. Um, this, uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to review this one. And then a few months down the road, I'll review it again because I'm hoping it'll look a little different. Um, but let, let's get into it. So this is the hardback edition. Um, it, um, the features on this one is a 10 point font. It is black letter text throughout. It is line matched. Um, so there will be minimal ghosting. It does have 32 GSM paper. Um, it is, uh, smy sewn. It does have footnotes and tables for currency weights and measures. And this one is printed and bound in Korea. Now, the two-column verse-by-verse, uh, you can get this one from Steadfast, and I'll leave a link down below for $17.99 for the hardcover, which is a steal, in my opinion. Um, the faux leather, you can get for $39.99, and the uh, goat skin, the Edgeline Goat Skin Edition, is $169. Uh, they also have a deal where you can get uh, three of the faux leathers, um, for $114.99, and it comes in black, in brown, and in navy. So you get all three colors that way. But um, anyway, let's get into this one. So as you can see on the front, you've got the LSB logo, Legacy Standard Bible. And then on your spine, you have your um, where the ribs would be. You've got Holy Bible, Legacy Standard Bible, and then two more of these ribs. On the back, you've got the Steadfast Bible um, logo. And then, of course, it is squared corners, um, no gilding or anything. So, which to me, this makes a great beater Bible. You can throw it in a backpack, and not worry about it. Um, <clears throat> but it is, a, of course, a paste down paper liner. You've got one um, end sheet here, cardstock end sheet. And then you've got your. Uh, title page here, Legacy Standard, two column verse by verse, and then you've got your um, publisher type information right here, and then you've got your foreword, which like I say in every video, if you're not familiar with the translation, no matter which one it is, I recommend you read the foreword. All right, and then we'll get over here. You've got your books of the Bible, and then you've got the Old Testament, Legacy Standard Bible, and then there you go, right into Genesis. And as you can see, this is a little different for uh, the LSB because it is a two-column. It's still a verse-by-verse -verse format, but it's a two-column. Um, the font is very readable. Like I say, it is a 10-point font, um, so it is great uh, as far as reading. And you can see there's very minimal ghosting on it. Uh, the camera always picks up more. But it is black letter throughout. Instead of having the normal red highlights like they usually do, this one's black. But it's still good because, um, you know, Genesis is good and bold. And they still do, as you can see there, verse 20. See how it's bolder than verse 19 and verse 21 after. That's indicating the beginning of a new paragraph. So they still do that. And... Um, yeah, this, this one is a good reader Bible. Um, I tell you what some folks um, I know are doing with these, uh, and I think these are actually, oh, and here's a uh, an example of the footnotes here um, at the bottom of the page. So what some churches are doing are actually ordering these for pew Bibles, and I think this is a good idea. I know that they also make the single column, handy sizing in hardback, and some people, you can get those in bulk discounts too and get them as a pew Bible. But I think these are better simply because of the size. 
And in my opinion, most people, if you think about it, most people, if they grew up in church, they are used to a two-column Bible. They're not necessarily going to be used to the verse by verse, but, but the two-column format is more familiar to them. So I think that's a good idea. I know that um, at Jeff's church, Covenant Reformed Baptist Church, this is what they have in their pews, um, and they fit really well with their uh, songbook and everything. So I, I think this is a good idea to utilize as a pew Bible, just my opinion. So anyway, we'll flip over here and get over here to the Psalms. And there you go. There's the Psalms and how the um, poetic setting is laid out, which I think, again, is great, uh, simply because they still, you know, you allow for more space and everything. Um, and it, it just looks really good. Um, you'll notice there's not a lot of margin space on, on these, but these aren't made for that. These are made, in my opinion, for carrying, for reading. Um, it's still going to take highlighting and underlining well, simply because of the 32 GSM paper. It is really good paper. Um, I, I like it. It's, um, it's easy to turn. It's got a smooth feel to it. Um, and, and again, um, you know, the, these, I, I'm glad they came out with this format and they're coming out with more formats. Um, if you're not familiar with 316, sign up for their emails and they'll send you emails about the different formats and things that, um, they, um, are coming out with. Um, that way, you know, you'll know. Uh, be in the loop, but you can also go to their website, which is 316publishing.com. Um, it's the numbers 316, 316. So, um, but anyway, and as you can see, when one book um, ends, it start another one starts on the same page, except I'm going to check something here in just a minute. I haven't checked that on this one, but anyway, then there's your New Testament title page. You get into the New Testament, and like I say, this is a black letter text throughout. So there you go. Here we are, Matthew 5, and uh, the Sermon on the Mount. And as you can see, it is black letter. So let me check something here real quick. I'd heard, yeah, maybe, well, Matthew, then get into Mark. Someone had made a point that, yeah, Mark, Luke, that whenever in the New Testament, when it ends on... Um, um, it doesn't pick up on the same page. The next book doesn't. When one book ends, the next book doesn't pick up. So I'm trying to get to one that'll end where there's room. Hmm, Luke, John, eh, maybe. Let's see. I can see why you would start on the next page there. Let me see. Yeah, I guess it does, because see, to me, you have room to start Acts. So the New Testament doesn't do that for some reason. Huh, interesting. So like I say, someone had said that in another video. I believe it was Timothy Frisch that pointed that out um, from a Frisch perspective. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Oh, well, no, never mind. Acts Romans. Huh, well, they, they had room, in my opinion, to do that with Acts, but I don't know. Anyway. So it, it can, carries on through this one. Yeah, see, there it is. Okay. I didn't think that they would do I thought, well, why would they just do that, you know, in the Old Testament, not the New, because that's just the way their formatting is uh, in all their Bibles. So anyway, um, you get to the back here, and I'm, I'm getting there. It does have one more little feature that I want to share with you guys. You get to the back. There's Revelation. There's your monetary units, your tables of weights and measures, and oh, no, never mind. I thought it did. It said it did. I guess mine doesn't. Okay. Well, and then you got your card sheet, and that's fine. Um, it said, let me look. No, mine don't say that it does. When you look on the website, it said something about 12 dot matrix pages in the back maybe that's on the other editions oh yep the faux leather has it so i bet you the goat skin does too so not in the hardback but in the faux leather edition 
and the hardback edition. Um, if you're familiar with um, the LSB and you, you've seen me review other ones that have it, you've seen the dot matrix pages in the back. Um, so the other editions do, but this one doesn't, which that's fine. I mean, it's no big deal. Um, but what I'm hoping to do is send this one off um, to get it rebound by Jeffrey Rice uh, with Post Tenebrous Lux uh, Bible Rebinding. And you guys know I've been uh, tooting his horn here of late, um, and I've got links down below for his Facebook and his website. But uh, Jeff does great work. But I'm going to do this one a little different. It's not going to be your typical rebind where it's, um, you know, got all the big bells and whistles. It's going to be in what he calls his Isaiah line, which is more, um, to me, I describe it as rustic. Um, if you're familiar with Scriptura, uh, formerly known as Paul's Leather Co., then you, and you've seen one of them, you know what type of rebinding that is. Um, he'll still, um, you know, put some good, you know, leather on it and everything. Uh, but what he usually does, he doesn't do any tooling or stamping on the side or anything. Um, and then down here in the bottom right-hand corner, he'll put his logo and then the translation, um, like this one, I'll have his logo in LSB. Um, and then I'm going to have him dye the pages. I'm going to have him do some page dye on it. Uh, for the um, outer part, but hardbacks are perfect for the Isaiah line. Um, and you know, he'll add some ribbons to it because, as you'll notice in this one, it does not have ribbons. Uh, which again, you know, um, I kind of miss that. I, but, but if you're going to use this as a beater or a pew Bible, not having ribbons is fine, uh, because you don't need them. You know, they're you know, that'll be something for kids to pull on and everything. You know, if you got little ones in church, uh, which you should. Don't have to have a nursery. You, your kids need to be in church. Need to. I love hearing uh, when children are active in church, and you know you hear a baby crying or or making noises or whatever. But anyway, um, but yeah, this one doesn't have a ribbon either. So, um, but yeah, so but that's been my review of this. Um, be uh, be sharing the 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 page with people. Try to get people to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Because like I say, once I hit 300, go back and watch my video on the large print wide margin to see how you're going to, you can win it. Um, and don't forget to like and comment. And then also down below will be my link, um, all my links to uh, my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Buy Me A Coffee. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel in that way, you can. Um, and also down below will be links to Jeff's uh, Facebook page and his website for Bible rebinding. And also I'm going to leave a link for uh, the Dead Men Walking podcast. Um, if you're not familiar with this podcast, you should uh, get familiar with it. Um, I'm actually going to be on there later this uh, afternoon for an interview. I met Greg, who uh, is one of the hosts of Dead Men Walking at um, the conference I was just at over the past weekend uh, in Tullahoma at Jeff's church. Uh, Greg was there, uh, got to meet him, uh, went to lunch with him one day. Him and uh, Keith from Your Calvinist, which is another guy you need to follow. Um, but um, got to meet both of them and talk with them and everything. And um, But yeah, I'm going to be on Greg's podcast later today just uh, doing an interview talking about uh, the channel and everything. So um, but yeah, so be on the lookout for that. I'll leave a link for his YouTube channel down below too. That way you can go subscribe or listen to him on your favorite podcast catcher or whatever. But anyway, that is my review of the LSB two column verse by verse. Let me know down below. What do you think? Do you like this format better? Do you like the single column? Um, you know, which, which one's your favorite so far out of all the editions that Steadfast has put out and which one are you looking forward to? I know they're coming out with a large print inside column reference, which is going to be a paragraph format, which is even more different for them. And it's going to be a two column paragraph and they're coming out with a compact edition. Um, I know they have scripture journals. I don't have any of those, but anyway, so steadfast is starting to starting to, you know, make different ones and get them out there. So, uh, which I'm excited because as you guys know, this, this is now my translation of choice. This is what I'm reading from and studying from and everything else. So, but anyway, um, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys always tuning in and listening to me, but, um, I'll try to be back next week with another review and until then grace and peace.